all day. See how far we can go with it. Hopefully no degenerates decide to come on and try and crash the stream. I mean, but lo and behold, I will have it, uh, you know, those people most likely be moved, so I'll try. Being what it is, though. I hope you guys enjoy this. I actually was able to escape the first try on the server, but I did not have any weapons. I seen my opportunity, and I bolted, and I left the weapons behind so as not to trigger anything right away. But they did notice that I'm gone, so... It has officially begun. And I honestly don't know when to, so... It's gonna be a problem. I think I'm way more... So I want to have my voice as loud as my game. And unfortunately, it wasn't like that yesterday. That looks good. I'd say that'll be better. Yeah, yep, yeah, that looks good. We'll see. I might have to turn it down a little bit. just to be on the safe side. There, that should be all right, I guess. All right, so where was I? Oh yeah, something about Shinaris and the way I get lost here. Uh, basically, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty amazing how this mission file has uh, been developed. There's a lot of people that are working on a lot of different pieces of it. However, I'm the only person working on integrating these mission files together, if you will. It's not difficult because the missions themselves have been coded so well that I have, uh, you know, very little, um, very little issue with combining things and adding un unique, uh, by sign, uh, or, you know, just, just stuff that basically would make anybody else look at a situation and be like, Jesus, how would I integrate this? And I'm just kind of like, well, 
Let's start from the beginning. First things first, we need to put these things here. We need to initialize uh, this, you know, turn the stamina off, da da da, do all that stuff. And then at the end of the day, it literally, it takes me about a day to in integrate two specific mission files together to do things. And at that at that point, I release it and let my community play it, and they tell me what the fuck's wrong with it. And, the, and some of them are brutal, man. Like, fuck, I can't even tell you how, like, heartbroken I felt sometimes. But, I mean, they saved me a lot of grief at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, their criticisms and, uh, you know, critiques have led me to creating compositions like this. We have the Kotan Escape Chinaris Redux Edition map with uh, Ravage Mod installed and integrated pretty flawlessly, I must say. And uh, it gives a good feel. I mean, it's real creepy. You can hear the ambient music in the background. And I, and I do absolutely suggest that you turn that music up when you're playing on this mission file. It will enhance every bit of your gameplay. It'll make you think better. Because when you hear music, sometimes it's just fill-in for the long haul, like right now. It's just fill-in. It's just what it feels like. It feels like fill-in music. But when you get close to a zombie or you get like within certain ranges of things, the music changes. And, and it, I think it is dependent on certain triggers like that so you get different music that comes on and if it is just as random as fuck as ever then man does it ever do a good job of creeping me the fuck out so yeah I mean there's lots there's lots here in this mission file that took a bit of effort to work with um, for instance the Trinaris Redux Edition map is smaller than Trinaris and people say it lags their computers out, but I can't see that being the case. I'm getting a solid 40 frames here with some decent foliage. I mean, you can see how far out the foliage goes. On a, a typical a typical um, setup, that foliage would be like from here to that tree. And it would be pretty shitty looking. It would be half that distance, but this is, uh, this is set up rather nicely. I'm running it at a little bit higher end on the settings, but that's okay. I, it's, I, I want it to run like this so I can see everything and, and feel the immersion and the clouds and the detail. Actually, you know what? I think the cloud detail is low. But it's still an amazing cloud detail. See how it got dark? <laughs> it's amazing. Getting bright again. Chasing the bright spot here, it seems like. It's getting cloudy. I think it's going to rain or it's going to... Something's going to happen. The weather's changing. I can feel it. But I mean, like, I can't feel it, like, the frames aren't suffering or anything. But I can tell that the weather's changing in the game. It's an amazing... They did a good... Tort did a good job on his scripting for that because they made it very um, gradual. But they gave a lot of subtleties to this that you typically don't see in regular Arma. Like, right now I'm going into a shady under cloud. See, I'm under cloud. Over there, it's bright. It's cloudy out. It's very well done. Very well done. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot that... Oh, what's this here? Just garbage, it looks like. Nothing important. I might be getting close to somewhere though, I mean, I've been running for hours now it feels like, but I really want to get to the top of this peak and have a look around, 
Let's see if there's anything I can recognize. They really fucked me on this one. I guess they wanted me to starve to death on this one. Computer was like, haha, I know what we'll do. <laughs> Man, I have no clue where I am. I sort of feel like I'm going in somewhat of the right direction, but who knows? I forgot to turn the terrain gradient down, but I think that sort of adds to the creepiness of this because when you're getting chased by zombies, they will attend to, if nothing else, straight up the hill so you have to kind of learn, sort of run at angles up the hills properly you have to properly angle yourself in order to get up the hill otherwise the zombie is going to kill you so it's a trick there's a there's a knack to it essentially and you try and go up too straight of a grade when zombies are chasing you well you're foolish enough for trying but The fact is, is that's something you'd have to look out for. I'm just hoping that I'm going towards civilization. These boys really put me out in frickin' no man's land. What's this? Is this ocean? What is this? Can't tell. I'm gonna starve to death. I made it out of the camp to starve to death. The torture of Arma. Well, I hope it works out for me here. I mean, I've been free for quite a long time. Probably the longest I've been free by myself besides almost beating the game there shortly a few days ago, which would have been nice to have shown that, but pfft, I doubt that I would have beat it, I probably would have gotten there, that I'd have been like, oh yeah, well our chopper got shot down, so you gotta find another LZ, I'm like, oh, I really wish I knew where I was going. Someone out there watching this video one day is going to be like, I know exactly where he's to. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ah. See what I mean? Like, you got to go up the grade sideways in order to run up them. Otherwise, you can go straight up them, but you're just like, ugh.
show me some civilization. There's some still like within. Oh, what's no? I mean, at least I know I'm still within the confines of the map. Those are probably bushes. This is not so bad. so difficult to tell where you are. I suppose I could put my objects up and then maybe see further, but what's the point of that, you know? People will do it, but the point of the game is to have obstruction, you know, like difficulties. So far, so good, though. I haven't ran into any kind of mutated zombies or people, so I'm definitely way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. It's a road. Civilization. Huh. Thought I'd never find it. Usually it's not as hardcore as that, but damn, that was tough. Now if I can just figure out which way I need to go.
They see me. Really? I was gonna say. I don't know if scavenging even works. Yeah, it probably doesn't. Not in this respect. What way should I go? This could be a dead end, so I was pretty confident I was I was up north and I think I am. However where I'm not sure. Oh, did I even... I don't think I got the newest version on the server yet. I don't think I do. I should have been able to check this couch, I think. Yeah, see. I don't know. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to abort. Continue. Disconnect. And stop streaming because I think I need to update the server. Be right back.